Hey there everybody, hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to wherever you're watching this from. And this is just going to be a talk on reasons. Alright, so, I, be, I mean, all of us, you know, have our reasons for many things. The things that we do, the things that we like, the relationships that we have, the bonds that we have, the career paths we've chosen, the life that we decide to live, the places we decide to go to the clothes we wear on a daily basis, the stuff that we choose to do on a daily basis, whether it be play games, talk, chat, talk with friends, do work, talk to people, talk to certain people, talk to certain people about certain topics, and it goes on and on and on. You know, it's uh, basically reasons for each and every one of our choices. And at times, you know, we've gotten so caught up when or I shouldn't say we because, well, I can I cannot speak for all of you guys, but I can only speak for myself. Uh, well, personally, I've gotten so caught up in finding reasons lately. And I think not, not just lately, it's been like a while back as well, where I've tried to find reasons for every little single thing that happens in my life, you know. Because, I don't know, I just feel like it doesn't happen out of the blue like there's something that triggers a certain effect you know kind of like newton's laws of motion i guess on the third law or something where it says for every reaction there's an equal and opposite reaction so or for every action sorry there's an equal and opposite reaction so yeah it's kind of like that and i've based basically life just like that you know uh, i'm not sure when but ever since i think a few years back where i just believe that when things happen it's because of some other thing that triggered it so every time something good or whenever something bad happens i'm always trying to find out what in the world triggered this specific thing to happen you know what was the trigger was it a good thing was it a bad thing and how could it have led to this point in time was it because of my doing was it because of someone else's doing and you know just searching for constant reasons on why things happen why and not only in terms of events but in terms of emotions and thoughts as well you know after going on to events and just trying to figure out what are the reasons for certain things that happen certain situations certain events that occur in life try to go into detail or going trying to find reasons as well for the thoughts that I have on a daily basis, the feelings that I feel on a daily basis, constant emotions that I feel on a daily basis. Why? Why do I have these? When do I have these? And what are the main reasons? Is, be, is it because of people? Is it because of, you know, certain situations? Is it because of myself? Is it because of confidence, self-esteem, motivation, un feeling uninspired? or you know lacking something is it because of that is it just because of myself you know i'm, I'm con i was constantly searching for reasons for so many things uh, and i guess it's just out of curiosity but then it got me thinking that you know the more questions i try to find the answers to or the more questions i try to find the reasons for events or causes that i find to try to find a reason for i only end up coming back with more questions than i had before and it's just because it goes back to this never-ending cycle of questions there's a lot of questions that will go into play once you start digging for answers for some questions in life it will just be this never-ending cycle that tends to keep you in a box filled with all of these questions combined in your mind and, you know it's just coming up with spiraling thoughts and, and emotions i know that you know it's normal to think that way especially when certain series of events haven't been so good to you or haven't been so well you start to ask for questions and for reasons as to why it's happening constantly and it comes out of the blue maybe it's because of the way you live maybe it's because of you maybe because you know it's just your mind playing games maybe it's reality maybe it's just something trying to teach you but something but yeah you know there's a lot of 
reasons as to why things happen, why we feel things, why we think about certain things, and what are the thoughts that come to our mind every single day, you know. It's just how we work. And I have trouble, like I said, I have trouble doing that, I try to find every single reason, but as well, it doesn't lead to answers, it just leads to more questions. Sometimes, you know, I figured that at times, not always, because of course, when certain situations happen, certain confusing times and confusing events happen, of course, you're going to need to search for answers. Of course, you're going to need to try to find out why this happened and so that you can prevent it from happening again or try to find a better way of solving it when it happens again. But there are certain cases where it's better to just leave it be because or leave it as it is or as it happens it just you know it's just a random event that happens bad stuff happens all the time good stuff happens all the time there doesn't need to be a reason for everything because maybe that's just it you know it just happens out of the blue it just happens because of a certain thing it's not because of anything you did it's not because of anything somebody else did it's just how it goes you know life is filled with a lot of ups and ups and downs as i've said in my previous talks and so maybe that's just the reason you know not everything can be perfect as well so that's why maybe at times we have rough days and perfect times stages of pain sorrow confusion stages of joy and happiness you know it's just an up and down roller coaster at the end of the day and yeah you know and Honestly, I just, I actually had trouble actually trying to deal with that and accept that, that not everything must have a reason to it. Sometimes just things just happen because they happen. You know, I had I had this thing in my mind that was telling me, now there's got to be a valid reason for this. Why did this certain thing happen? And eventually there is, but I also realized another thing is that even though I finally found out the reason what that is that caused or triggered it, there's nothing I could have done to prevent it. There's nothing I could have done to stop it because it was just completely out of my hands. I mean, at certain times when I do reflect and go back and try to think of things that triggered certain events that I could have stopped or that I had the capabilities of stopping or preventing or doing something to make the situation better, I do try to make it so that next time, you know, things won't turn out uh, the way they did before. But there are certain instances where you can't do anything like that could change things, you know, some certain things happen just the way it is. It's out of shock. I mean, if time travel existed, you know, I bet all of us, especially me, would be going back in time trying to redo certain things, trying to make sure that everything aligns perfectly so that we would have a perfect life and all that. At the end of the day, I mean, it just comes to, you know, again, finding reasons that only lead to more questions. And I just want you guys to know that, you know, that. Uh, whenever you're feeling in a very paranoid state or very, you know, stressed state about certain situations or things, sometimes maybe, you know, there could be something that you can do. Of course, try your best to find out certain solutions or certain, um, you know, things that could help the situation be better. I know that all of us are capable of doing that. Or all of us are capable of trying to help a situation to just improve it. But... At times, don't deal, don't dive into constantly trying to find reasons for everything because sometimes things are just unexplainable and it's not your fault as well because not everything has a reason to it. Not everything has to have a valid reason for happening. Sometimes it just happens. And... The same thing goes with emotions, feelings, and this one. You know, sometimes you may have thoughts just because you're curious or just because your mind wanders into places. doesn't mean that you feel a certain way. It doesn't mean you're 
having something doesn't mean you're just one, you know. And the same thing goes for emotions. Sometimes you may feel sad and, you know, nothing happens, but nothing happened or nothing triggered that sadness, but you just feel sad and it's okay because it's feelings, it's emotions. It's so normal to feel these things. I mean, you can't always be sad. You can't always be happy. You can't always, you know, be angry. You're going to have a mix of emotions now then it's going to be a roller coaster, as I've said time and time again, but then, yeah, you know, uh, things come and go, feelings come and go, emotions come and go, thoughts come and go. It's just the way it is. No, not everything has a reason for it. And so much you know that if you're confused about certain things, there are answers to it, but maybe sometimes it's just, you know, it just happens. So, yeah. So I'd just like to conclude this off by saying when everything happen, certain things that you feel aren't going so well or it's just a series of bad things, a series of good things, I would just say to be in the moment so that you're present and whether there's a problem or not, you know what to do and you're you're there so you can you can you can try to find solutions if it's bad or you can try to enjoy the moment if it's good because just being caught up in why is all of this happening prevents you as well from experiencing life itself. If you're so caught up in trying to find the reasons for certain things happening, then you can't really enjoy the life that you're living itself. So what I would say is enjoy life, appreciate every single moment of it. Try to not go into finding out reasons so much as to why things are happening and just let it happen. You know, if you could do something, as if, you know, as I've said again before, if there's something that you can do to help, then go for it. But if, you know, but if things are out of your control, it's okay. The one thing that I want you guys to know is that if you try to do your best to make a certain situation better, that's all that matters, you know. But at the end, at the end of the day, Events are just events. Emotions are just emotions. Thoughts are just thoughts. They happen. We feel it. We experience it. We think about it. And it's not something worth beating yourself over again. again. All right. So that's all for this talk, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for your time. And hope you have a wonderful day ahead. Bye-bye.